The Real Estate Photography Podcast is brought to you by TourBuzz.net, high-definition virtual tour and photograph hosting. Now, with interactive floor plans. Sign up for your free trial today. Hello and welcome to the Real Estate Photography Podcast with Mike Mariello. This is episode 119, uh, Circular Polarizer and Post-Production. I'm really not certain what it'll be called at the very end, but... This podcast covers two different elements, using the circular polarizer in the field and then actually uh, utilizing post-production to kind of get the results that you want. So um, usually circular polarizers are associated with uh, making skies deeper blue, Um, but the science behind that is actually it cuts reflections down. And um, that can actually go to really good use for interiors um, as well as exteriors. But right now I'm just talking about um, interiors. So as you can see on this photo here, you've got this, and your eyes probably went to it right away, these reflections on um, on the glossy uh, uh, wooden hardwood floor, right? You know, it's, it's got this, this nice waxy coat, on it, waxy coat on it, and it's, you know, it's all nice and whatnot. But it's too reflective. If you have to do a daytime shoot, these are pretty tough to avoid. But if you pop a circular polarizer on uh, on top of your lens, make sure you get a thin one, by the way, if you're using a wide angle. Uh, it could show up in the in the corners. But um, watch what happens. When you turn the right way, uh, pay attention to the, the floor, that's exactly what happens. And I haven't done any post-processing to either one of these photos, uh, you know, aside from fusing the exposures to get the the right light. But in terms of adding contrast or changing my curves or my my levels, nothing has changed. Just the circular polarizer. Now, the the wood floor is right about where we want it because you still want some to show that is a reflective surface. It's got this nice gloss appeal to it. But watch what happened to my walls. So, When my floor is right, my walls are wrong. Now my walls are right, but my floor is wrong. And that is because the way a polarizer works, it can only, from what I understand, it can only um, cut the reflections in, in, say, if it's cutting reflections vertically, it can't do the perpendicular perpendicular line uh, line of sight you you can't cut the reflections on the floor at the same time so when you when you win on one one plane you lose on the other so what you can do is take these images into Photoshop or whatever whatever you're using basically I'll do this will just be really really quick we can close the other one we don't need it so we have both of our our photos in here as you can see one is hidden behind the other and what I will do is quickly add a layer mask. Um, let's go ahead and fill it with uh, black. So that basically covers everything up. And what we're going to do is we're going to brush in our... And if you don't understand what's going on, just check on Photoshop, um, tutorials and whatnot. Uh, basically, I'm just using a layer mask to allow um, the the good parts, sorry, I can't really multitask, this is hilarious, Uh, allow the good parts, uh, and I'm defining good parts as the cut reflections on the wall and the cut reflections on the floor to um, basically get exactly what we want. Um, And I will show you, this is really, really rough. Um, And you could probably see I goofed on the ceiling up here. I I do want this beam here because that is... Okay, so let's go back. This is before, that's after. So we have basically the best of both worlds. It's as if you're being able to use, you know, two polarizers at once, which I've never tried to do, but um, I guess you could. I don't even know. But that's basically what you can do. So you go from uh, this sort of image with the really high gloss and on the on the walls are nice, you know, taking too long to summarize what we're doing, but then, but once again, you get the best of both worlds, and you can save that right back in the Lightroom and go on about your life. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Have a good one.